So you need some graphic design work done, but you don't have the budget to hire a graphic designer. Well, don't worry, because in this Canva tutorial video for beginners, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step everything you need to know to create your own designs using Canva. So why don't we hop on the computer and get started? One quick thing I forgot to mention, our channel is partly supported by affiliate commissions. So if you'd like to support our channel, I'd encourage you to click the link down below to Canva. We may earn a small commission, but absolutely no extra cost to you. Okay, here we are at canva.com. We can get started designing, but there's one thing I wanna show you before we got started, it was basically a difference between the free and the pro plan. So we're gonna do everything right now with the free plan, but there are some, some differences between the two plans that I wanted to show you. One is access to a bunch of stock photos and videos um, to be able to choose from 3000 different fonts or upload your own custom fonts. Um, creating your brand kit. We're gonna show you how to do that for free where you can upload two colors, but if you wanna be able to upload your logo and fonts and things like that, you're gonna need to use Canva Pro. Um, the other thing, today we're gonna create two designs um, that are similar but with different shapes. If you have the Pro Canva Pro, you can actually resize it much more quickly than what I'm gonna show you today. Um, and then one of the other things that could be a big deal for you is the background remover. And so I'm gonna put a link to a video that I created recently up above, but basically um, with Canva Pro, you can do that here, super easy within the platform. If you're looking for other free tools, check out that video. With that said, let's get going. So to sign up, it's really easy. You can either use a Google account, your Facebook, or create an account with your email. Also, when you do sign up, you, you will get an offer like this to uh, try Canva free for 30 days to see if you're gonna need some of the extra features that I just mentioned. Uh, we'll click maybe later, close this, okay. Um, and so one of the first things I wanna do when you get into your account is to create your brand kit. And so this will help speed things up as you go forward. Obviously, like what I was saying before, if you have Canva Pro, you can add your logos and fonts and things, but at a minimum what I would do is at least add your brand colors. It'll speed up some of the stuff that you'll see in just a second. And so we can add a color. I have those saved right here. Okay, so now those are saved. So what I wanted to show you how to design today is basically some of the images that we're using for one of our landing pages. So this image here, uh, that basically talking about our, our free personal branding course. And so this is essentially like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, like the cover for say an ebook. But one of the other things you wanna keep in mind is people are gonna probably share the links either to a landing page or to a website or other things on social media. And those might not be the same shape image that you have on, on your page. And so here's a, a more of a landscape image as well. And so I wanna create basically the same design with the two different shapes in Canva today. And so how to do that? So to get started, you can just in here type in um, letter and you'll see come up US letter document. And so one of the things here is if you don't have any idea what you want to design, there's tons of great templates here and then you can just super easy go in and edit any one of them. And so we could just click on this, let's say if, if we wanted to go and we can change these elements, we can change the color of the elements if we wanted to. But today what I wanted to show you is how to start from scratch. And so let's go back to US letter and blank. And so we have a blank file right now. And so what we're gonna wanna do one is let's change the background of it to this blue. And then if you see, if we go to the landing page, you know, this image here, what you can do um, here, let's update the name. So personal branding cover image. And so what you could do here is go to photos and then figure out, so a man with phone. And so you can see if it has a little crown here, these are pro images. So you either have to pay for them or be part of Canva Pro. And then if you scroll through there, there will be a bunch of them that are free as well. They're not showing up right now. But anyways, I did create another video that I'm gonna link to up above on where you can find great free stock images. This is the image that we used right here on Unsplash. And so that's one of the ones I mentioned in the previous video. 
And so I already have this downloaded. And so what I could do is go to uploads, upload media, device, and then here, and then here's the image. Okay, open. And I just drag and drop it here and kind of resize it to the shape that I want um, for this um, for this design. And so, you know, one of the things here we can do is then, so I, I changed the shape of it. So this is the part that I want um, with my design. You can see the image goes out over here, but it's not gonna show up in my design. And then you can go to crop and then you can essentially Let's start at the corner and then just say, okay, I want it to cut off right here. And there we go. So that's, and then I want to maybe move it over slightly so he's you know, more centered from left to right. Okay, so that's the, the bottom half. And then if you literally just hit T, you've got some text. Up here, you can change, you know, the, the, the font, you can change the size of it, you can change the color, um, but I think this is good for what we're doing right now. And so you can drag this along. Obviously what we want to do is have it centered in the design. And so let's say we have it right here. So, it, so let's build your, and then if we click off it, hit T again. Okay, we have more text, personal brand, oops, cap block for all of it. So the other thing too, is if you want to change the size or do anything, you can just, you can, stretch the the text like this um, the one thing with doing that though is if you have different types of text um, like we do here is this and this aren't going to be the same size anymore and so maybe we want this to be 50 and this as well to be 50. okay the other thing so we want to add a element which basically to create the border around personal brand and so if you go to elements right here um, there's all sorts of different options so a frame for a picture there's stickers and charts there's a ton of different things um, what we're doing today is just a shape and so you can scroll through and see the different options here so one of the tricks with something like this with this border so if you drag the corners you can see that the the width of that this actual frame gets thinner so you can change the corners like this to get to about what you want and to say, okay, here, something like, oops. So I want to start right there. And then if you drag just by one dimensional, or drag just one of the dimensions, then the width of the, the actual line stays the same. And so what you could do here if you highlight this, it's gonna select both. And then what you could do, click these three dots and go to position. And what you would wanna do is position a line in the middle vertically. So it moved it slightly and center. And then these two things now are perfectly aligned. So the text is in the middle of it. And then one of the things I obviously need to cha change is the color of this. And so there, that's white now. The next thing, if you look at it, is this start now button. So let's do, again, if I just hit T, there's more text. Start now. This, what I, if I hit command bold, it'll make the, the text in bold now. And then you can see, okay, this is all centered, but I do maybe wanna make this slightly smaller, something like that maybe. Now I wanna add another element along the side here. And so you could do it with shadows like some of these have. Um, I wanted it with a rounded corner, basically like this. And it automatically already chose the color that I wanted. Again, you know, try to make the, adjust the, the shape to the size that you're looking for. And so you can see right now that it's aligned well vertically. And then I can just stretch this out here and again, if you have trouble aligning stuff, what you can do is highlight that'll select both of these. And then you can, again, go to position and make sure that, um, see it's already aligned in the middle vertically and you can do it horizontally. And there you go. One of the other cool things that you can do too, so if you highlight and have both of these right now, if you don't wanna mess it up later, 
you can essentially group them. And so what'll happen is this is now essentially one element unless you ungroup them. And so I could do the same thing right here and group these. Okay, and then so there's one other piece that's missing, which is our logo. And so being that we don't have Canva Pro and have our logo already saved, we can upload it into the images here. Okay, let's add that. Uh, maybe I'll add it up to the top. Let's move this down some, move this down, move this. And then let's make this less noticeable. And then again, let's get it centered. You know, one of the things you can do too, so I showed you how to align thing position wise, but you can also make sure to space stuff out evenly. And so if you go to position, you can essentially space evenly vertically. And you can see now that these three elements have the same space between them. And that's really it. That's, you know, I, I think, you know, the logo we had down here before, but I think I like it better how I have it right here. And then you can just click on download. You could create a PDF out of it, uh, JPEG, PNG file. And so, you know, let's download a PNG. There we go. Design one created. So one of the things that I mentioned earlier is this resize button. So you could just use that if you did have Canva Pro. Um, we don't have that today. And so what we could do again is um, when we're creating what I was saying with this image, you know, it's actually the same size that what we create in lead pages. Our landing page software is what would be the Facebook um, ad. And then as you scroll over this, it says 1200 by 628, which is what we want to create. Again, they have tons of different designs that you could just hop in here and edit some, something that's already created. But again, it's not too difficult to just create something from scratch if you have an idea of what you want. So again, let's change the background to our color blue. Then what we had uploaded, we had the images. So let's add this back again. And so here it's going to be a little bit different. Maybe we want to start with the coffee in the corner there and then basically stretch this out to be something like that. And then again, crop this to move this over this way. Okay. So you can see the little pink line here is showing me that this is exactly halfway in the middle of the design. So I think that's probably perfect. So we'll leave that there. And then I have this half to, you know, add all the text again, hit T. I can hit it again. Oops. No, well, let me create two at a time, but uh, no, I didn't. They're just completely on top of each other. Okay. Let's start with this one. So to say, build your, and then let's drag this one up here are a little lower because we're going to put the logo above it. Personal brand. And then again, there we go. Those are aligned, uh, or, uh, centered. And then so we can see here, these are both 36. We could probably add a little bit more. So let's start with this one and then we'll adjust the, the top text to be the same. So if we say 40, probably even bigger, 45, that's probably big enough. And then so do the same thing here, 45. And then hit T again for more text and then start now. And then this is this was a little bit smaller. So let's say 38 and then bold. And then again, let's center that something like maybe here, some space between the bottom. And then, so the two other things that we need to add are in the elements. So you can see it saves some of the stuff that's recently used. So let's start with the, this border to start out and then let's change the color. Otherwise we're not going to be able to see it with the blue background. And then again, so we want not quite that thick. So maybe I think kind of that thickness potentially. And so now if I just change it one dimension at a time, it'll keep the, this thickness. 
So let's move it over to the beginning here and then stretch it out over the rest of the text. Maybe I want a little extra space like that, but then like I showed you before, you can highlight both of these, go to position, and then it's already positioned vertically, but I can center it horizontally. And so something like that. And then again, so I don't mess this up later, let's group that together. And then let's create this button. Okay, it wants to make it blue again. That's not what I want. Here's our green. Kind of shrink that down. And so you can see, all right, we got the, the vertical already adjusted, but maybe that's a little too tall. So maybe something like, oops, something like that. Stretch it over. Okay, let's make sure that we got everything aligned. So position, center, center, then let's group it together. And then we're missing our logo. So let's go to uploads, logo, that's too big. Shrink it down. Okay, so center something like there. And then let's, again, let's align all these pieces. And so what we could do again, um, I didn't do align it with the logo last time, but let's see what happens here. And then position space evenly vertically. And so, you know, something like that. So maybe if I wanted a little bit tighter together, I could bring this down a little bit. Bring this up. And then let's do the same thing again. Position space evenly vertically. And so, you know, basically that. And so let's change this one again to say personal brand social share image. Okay, so those are creating two designs, kind of the same design with different shapes. And we can again download this as a PNG and there we go. So if we just open these up really quick, design number two, design number one. So in just a couple of minutes, we were able to create two designs pretty easily within Canva. All right, there you go. We created two designs from scratch in Canva in just a couple of minutes. It is really that easy. So why don't you give it a try now and let me know down in the comment section how it went. If you're curious about how I built the landing page and lead pages that I was showing you, I'll link to that video up above right here. Also, if you want to watch more of our graphic design videos, I'll link to a playlist right here. Until next time, bye.